All right, um, in the next part of the lecture, I'm going to explain um, a very simple test for divergence. Um, so here is the theorem. So it is called a necessary condition uh, because it is necessary, but it is not sufficient. So if the series, if our series converges, then the limit of the underlying sequence is zero. But notice that it is necessary, but not sufficient in the sense that if the limit of the underlying sequence is zero, it does not yet mean that the series converges. So we have an example of a series uh, whose underlying sequence tends to zero, but the series itself diverges is the harmonic series, right? So the um, converse of, of the, this is not true, right? So it only works one way. And uh, when a theorem works only one way, well, then we call it a necessary condition or a sufficient condition. I mean, if, uh, we kind of switch it around, then we say that um, convergence of the series is a sufficient condition for the limit of the sequence to be zero. But the limit of the sequence to be zero is a necessary condition for the series to converge. Um, it has a very simple proof. So let, let me go through the proof. It, it is useful here because it allows us to kind of review the definitions, right? So suppose that we have a series and suppose that our series, let's say from one to infinity, doesn't really matter. Uh, and suppose that the, the series converges. Well, if it converges, it means that its sum is some, some number S, right? To, to a number S, which is a real number, right? So the, the series converges. Now, uh, let, let me write the, um, underlying a sequence, uh, the, the sequence of partial sums. So what is Sn? So Sn is going to be A1 plus A2 plus and so on, plus A n minus 1 plus uh, A n. So the limit of this sequence Sn is, by definition, the number S. Now, the question is, can we somehow since we are supposed to to prove some condition on the limit for a n from the condition on the limit on a n so is it possible to somehow express a n via s n so the, the logic is, is like this so is to express a n via s n and it actually is possible because if you write as n minus one, then you will get a one plus a two plus and so on plus until a n minus one. Stop. And now, if you subtract s n um, s n minus one from s n, then you will get precisely a n, right? So a n is s n minus s n minus one. So now, what is the limit of a n? Can, can we find the limit of a n? Well, so what is the limit of a s n? We know it, it, it is s. What is the limit of s n minus one? Well, s n minus one is essentially just the, the same sequence as a, s n. Is, it is just shifted by one position. So which means that its limit is also s. Right, so the limit of a n is going to be therefore s minus s, which is zero done so it's kind of a, a neat proof and uh, it's kind of very, very natural so which is why I, I wanted to share it with you uh, but basically what you should remember is that if the limit of our sequence is not zero then the series diverges or usually we, we can write it down as the, this um, limit test for divergent series so if the limit of our sequence a, a n either doesn't exist or maybe if it exists but is not equal to zero then the series diverges and here are some examples of um, application of the, this um, uh, limit limit test and well basically uh, that's the end of the, this part